Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Reverend William Holder from Faith Deliverance Center, Smithfield, in the island of Bermuda. As we have examined and read Hosea chapter 10, verse 1 to 3, we have learned that the people of Israel spent their money on idols and altars to their foes, gods. Sadly, people continue to do the same thing today. The appearance and identity of the idols may have changed numerous times down through the centuries, but the harmful impact had not changed. You see, whatever is the focus of the people's hearts and minds will be where they spend their time and money. Think of just a few of the idols and full gods worship but glorify in society today. Idols and full gods such as spools, cars, horses, and property. Idols and full gods such as fame, fortune, possession, and authority. Idols and full gods such as religious objects, Buddha figures, temples, or shrines. Idols and full gods such as television, movies, music, videos, and books. My friend, as believers, we should examine our hearts and lives to determine where our pride is laid. If anything or anyone is standing in the way of or taking the place of our serving God, worshiping God, or supporting God's work, then our priorities are misplaced. And unless we repent of our sins and make God, my friend, a fresh love according to Revelation chapter 2 verse 4, then we will face the short judgment of God. The Bible tells us, set your factions on things above and not on things of this earth. For our life is hidden in Christ, when Christ is perfect, we shall appear with him in glory. We are told, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto us. God bless you and God be with you as a prayer of our heart.